Hi, we're Mark and Mel. After raising four amazing daughters who are now raising our 12 grandchildren and helping people on land in the real estate business for over 30 years, we're now realizing our goal of a year-long adventure cruising America's Great Loop on our boat, Paradise. This is a 6,000-mile journey through waterways that include the Atlantic and Gulf Intercoastal Waterways, Great Lakes, Canadian Heritage Canals, and inland rivers of America's Midwest cities. Join us as we navigate over 100 locks, explore cities large and small, and experience an unforgettable journey through America's Great Loop. at home for Sedona came for your parents? Do you remember that? Yeah. I was there. I helped unload it. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? And I helped build it. So, and it, and it was big too. I've seen it. Yeah, I've seen, yeah. I mean, I know that it's been added on to, but. A thousand square feet. A thousand square feet in Sedona oh, okay. along Oak Creek Canyon, which is now Indian, millions of Indian dollars Indian worth. Gardens, and it's, you know, it's not what it is. Well, Sedona is. So that was who? So this is Flora Frazier Dyer, uh -huh. <clears throat> um, and uh, she came down from Sebastian with her parents and her brother wow. when she was nine on a flat boat down the river, and they landed and built a house. She So she was a pioneer and her, her parents. She married... Harry Armstrong Dyer, who was also a pion pioneer, mm -hmm. and um, he started off in Palm City and then came over here. They lived here, um, raised five children. Uh, the house that they built in 1902 is still standing over on Halpatioke Street. Wow. She was an artist. She grew roses commercially. She knitted. She did all kinds of goods. Um, across from Confusion Corner, there's a building, kind of abandoned, white, called Dyer's Dry Goods. They established that in 1904 and ran it until 1988. And um, oh, interesting. So is some of, a lot of this here hers? Yes, all of the glass cases here. Wow. Um, the uh, display cabinet in the back. This is her easel. Um, this is actually her, a sketch that she made. Her husband predeceased her uh, by four or five years. And if you look, you can see this sketch. She was drawing this sketch from this photo. Oh. This is a photo she took because she was also a commercial photographer. So she had it enlarged. She colorized both of these, actually. She did a self-portrait over there. Wow. Her camera is over in the uh, camera case over there. How about that? Um, yes, she made me very tired. <laughs> when you think it, she did all that with very little electricity, oh my no gosh. microwave, no right? air conditioning, no nothing. Amazing! What an um, amazing woman. Yes, she was. She's. She's. Um, it's very interesting. So we're just now. You're here. We're just putting this display together to kind of represent uh -huh. um, her well, life. That's great. That's great. So I thought we thought it was kind of cool. Can I get you on the video? Oh, on the video? Sure. <laughs> and you, you are? I, my name's Heidi McNabb. Oh, 
So I am a great granddaughter of Flora. That's amazing. So. That's so neat that this continues yes. through the generations to yes. give them honor. Yes, it's cool. Yeah, it is very so. cool. Yeah. Very cool. Well, thank you. Well, thank you for visiting the museum. Yeah, absolutely. Hope you enjoy it. Now, if I can figure out how to cut it. Nine. Oh, that's the cutter thing. I can tell I'm like just. Here's catalog. Nine room, two story home. See? You can buy the kit for $1,995 or have it built complete for three thousand dollars oh my gosh we need that Amazon nowadays is not gonna give you there, kind of we're, we're not gonna get that kind of price <laughs> and, um, we know of her we think of her as um, a great philanthropist uh, we have a wing of the hospital that um, she donated all the money to um, build she made a great donation to us here to keep, help keep us going there's a there's several parks named after her there is, if you're doing the boat tour and you don't know where your boat is, she her her restaurant that she had used to be called the Outrigger. It's now called the Dolphin Bar. Oh, so I a, saw that okay, on the map. Okay, so the map. Dolphin Bar, they have a great... Where is it at? Oh, we have to go there. So over on... Um, is it across the river? Or is so it's on the Indian River, right. and it's off of... Um, not A1A. The other side so Indian Riverside Park and there's a marina right next to Indian Riverside Park that's where she used to keep her boat called the Chanticleer and then right next door to that is the Dolphin Bar if you Google Dol Dolphin Bar we will yeah I saw that and um, they have a lot more because it was her restaurant she used to sing there and you know Bob Hope would come there and all the uh, Vaughn Monroe, all these big movie stars okay. from back in the day would come and visit her. Okay. That and is so cool. Um, That's right on the intercoastal. Yes, and my, so my <clears throat> great aunt was um, a nurse and became her private nurse uh, for a oh. long time and they became really good friends. Oh, wow. And um, she was just a really cool lady. Uh, we would go visit my aunt there and swim in her swim in her pool wow <laughs> and um what is her estate still no so oh. that's one of the sad things <laughs> so she married um second or third can't remember which but the last guy that she married was ralph evanrood of evanrood motors mm -hmm. and uh, um, they used to have their testing center here so they lived in Rio there for a very long time um and so and they were both very philanthropic throughout the, the county. Um, after he died first, then after she died, um, her estate was sold, and there's now um, a development on it, and it's all, everyone who has been here for a while is very sad. Oh. But she had a very beautiful, it was like a Polynesian resort, you know? <laughs> I could and, see it uh, right it was, in my it was head, cool. I could see it. That's very cool. And if you go through, if you're driving around and you drive through Rio, you might see some signs that say, you know, like, watch for peacocks or whatever peacocks crossing uh -huh. and it was because she had peacocks on her estate oh, wow. for all the time that she lived there and it just became kind of a thing in wow. Rio. Well we have to go to the dolphin we have to go to the dolphin the bar. The dolphin bar, yeah. It's like point three mile bike ride from here. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. This, this is Dade County, Dade County Pine. Pine. Mm -hmm. And oh my gosh, what yeah. a different it's so much heavier yes. than this. This is like it's like so light. It's like styrofoam. It's like styrofoam, yeah. Like, this is so, and like, this is, this is an like a brick of the tree, and you can see how solid it is. And if you can, you're allowed, you know. Trying. Wow, so. it's oh my gosh, it's so heavy. So too, there's yeah. just no more of that around. No, they harvested it to extinction. Wow, wow. and that's so. what is the floors are made of. Yes. So these will be here a and long time. And you can time. see where the floor changes back here. So this is where it was reinforced. Um, so that they could roll the barrels in on it. Mm -hmm. And this would have been the original entrance to the store from the dock. And from here, so we added on here, but mm -hmm. you can see the floor changes, mm -hmm. but um, there would, the dock would have been back that way. Back that way. Wow. Yep. Try to yeah. lift the different, the, oh. like yeah. look at the difference between yeah. oh. this regular pine and this state county. Oh, wow. So different. Here comes Mel. 
There's only one more bridge to go after this one. Does it look familiar? We were on it yesterday. Woo! Say hi, Carmen. This little guy. He like thinks I have food. The Atlantic Ocean from Hutchinson Island. What's that, honey? <laughs> <laughs> so we made it to, is this Jensen Beach? Mm. Uh, it's the Seaside Cafe. And you can get there, and the, the neat thing is that the bridge has like a border uh, so that you don't have to be right exposed to the cars. I liked that. Um, the, the sidewalk was had a separate concrete wall. These bikes are actually provided by the marina. Very cool, and we have, to, but we have to ride back, and that was a uh, four mile, four mile ride. Five point three, no five point six. Five point six. So we we're have to. Have, we're gonna have to put probably fifteen miles on these bikes by the end of the day. But uh, we will reward ourselves with some frozen yogurt or ice cream when we get back to Stewart, right? You say yes, yes. Ice cream, new cream, <laughs> ice cream for ice cream. Signature Sweets, downtown Stewart. Is it yummy ice cream? <laughs> we have to take a bite and then tell us how it is. Oh, <laughs> okay.